Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pandas library to compare two CSV files to find rows with unmatched values. Here I have three CSV files. I named uh, these three files, data1, data2, and data3. In these files, I have the same table, except that uh, for some of the rows, some of the values are different. And I want to use Pandas library to locate those rows with uh, discrepancy. Here in my Python script, I'm going to import the pandas library. Oh, this should be pd. I'll import uh, those three CSV files as a uh, diaphragm object. This one's going to be data1.csv, data3, and data2. I'll name this one is df2 and df3. And I'll import those uh, CSV files as data from objects. Right, so here's my data set for uh, df1. And let me move the panel to the right. I'll show you different methods to approach this problem. So this is going to be method number one. And for this method, I'll be using the is in uh, function. Here, let me reference df1 object. I want to convert each row as a uh, tuple object. And to do that, I can use the apply function for the first parameter, which is the function itself. I'll insert uh, tuple. The next parameter was the axis. I'm going to convert uh, each column as a tuple. Now, if I run this statement, if we look at the result set for each row, my value is now a tuple object. Now I want to insert the isIn function, and I want to compare the table against data2.cfc file. And I can reference df2, and I'll apply the same step. I'll convert each row as a, a tuple object, and it should be applied. Now if I run this statement, and it's going to return whether or not uh, if the record is a match. And because I want to find the unmatched uh, records, I need to inverse the result. So in the beginning, I'm going to insert the wave symbol. Now if I run this statement again, for the condition that returns to, those are the records have discrepancy. Now what I can do is I can wrap the conditions with the uh, diaphragm object. I want to compare against the uh, first file. And this will be result one. And I'll create the result one object. And I'll print result one. And I will turn uh, these five records that have discrepancies. Right, so this is method number one. For method number two, I'll show you how to use the uh, merge function to find the rows with discrepancies. Right, so here let me insert df one dot merge. This time I want to compare the table against data three dot file. If we just quickly compare the uh, tables in data three CSV file, I have extra rows. In data one file, I have twenty one rows, and in data three uh, file, I have twenty six rows. Inside the merge function. I want to insert the DFM object that I want to compare to. I also want to set the indicator parameter to true. If you have never used the indicator parameter before, so here let me run this statement. The indicator parameter is going to insert a new field, and the field name is going to be called underscore merge. And based on the merge column, it's going to indicate that whether or not this record match on uh, both data set. Now let me go back to uh, data three data CSV file, and here I want to change some of the numbers. Let's change these to uh, nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and for this record, let's change these to five thousand, and save the file. And let me re-import uh, data three data CSV file. So by default, the join type is set to uh, inner join. I want to change the join type to outer join, meaning that I want to return the match records 
and the unmatched records from uh, both tables. Now if I run this statement, from the merge column, if the value is left only, that means this record appears on both CFC files. And if the merge value is right only, then that means uh, this record exists on data3 file, not on data1 file. And to return the unmatched results. So here I can uh, insert the look method. I want to return the value based on the merge column values. All right, so here I'm going to insert the lambda function. So from the uh, V parameter, I want to reference underscore merge column. I want to insert a condition. If the value is not equals to both, then I want to return the record. And I'll name the output as result two. And I'll create result two option. And if I print result two, and that returns the unmatched records. All right, so this is want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.